Warm welcome to dear students. So in this session, we are going to discuss about a very important topic. This should be a nightmare for many of you, especially those who are in the third year or final year of B Tech or in the beginning of final year for diploma or even for PG students. Anybody who is in the professional course or in the other degree courses, in the syllabus of any of these courses, for the fulfillment of the completion of the course, it is required to present a seminar on selected topic for about some 10 to 15 minutes. The audience would be your own classmates and your class teacher or a group of teachers or panel members. But still, selecting the topic is a very difficult thing for many of you, the students, right? Suppose your teacher is asking you to select and submit a seminar topic by this period. What will be the first thing you will be doing? Simply, you will Google it, right? Never do that. That is not the first step in proceeding towards the presentation of a seminar. Now, in this lecture, video lecture, I am going to share you some thoughts on how to select a seminar topic. What are the different steps in selecting and presenting a seminar topic? That is what we are going to discuss today. Fine. So, please listen carefully. Wherever you require, you make a note of the important things. This is the first lecture in this series. Then, how to make the presentation? Common mistakes in the presentation. All those things will be discussed in the upcoming sessions. So, how to select a seminar topic? That is today's discussion topic. So, this is our view of today's uh, presentation or the four steps in selection of a topic. What is the purpose of a seminar? Some of you might be knowing and some of you might not be knowing at all. Just for the sake of presenting, you will be doing. Right? Where to start with? If you are really serious about taking a seminar and presenting it in a well manner and submitting a report and towards the end of the seminar, you will be in a confused state. Where to start with? Because I have learned so many subjects and a lot of things are available. But which would be a better one? We will discuss that. How to choose from, from this in n number of topics and resources available. Then finally, we will see finalizing the topic with confidence. If you have done the steps A, B and C properly in the systematic way which I am going to describe now, then you can calmly achieve the state and relax in the fourth step. So, let us see the purpose or purposes of a seminar in a professional course. So, these are the main objectives of including a seminar in a professional course curriculum. Obviously, the important thing is you will get a chance to refresh your course syllabus. Suppose you are going to take the seminar in the seventh semester of a B.Tech degree course or in the fifth semester of a diploma course or in the second semester of a postgraduate course or third semester of a postgraduate course 
which are uh, it would be different in different universities so the first thing what you have to do is you have to refresh you have to look back into the syllabus for the subjects you have studied so far based on the knowledge you have acquired throughout the semesters the previous semesters will be quite useful for you for selecting the seminar topic so dear you have learned a lot of knowledge isn't it from the syllabus so you have to refresh or look back into the syllabus from where you started and now at what position you are how many subjects you have studied then second step very important it may take a lot of time invoking the thought process so based on the syllabus based on the subjects you have studied you have to think oh this much i have studied what is the importance of that subject how important that in the actual application or in an industry which you are dreamt of whether that fundamental you have learned in a particular subject whether it will be useful or not so you have to think a lot then suppose you are into a mechanical engineering field you will be having different subjects from the production design thermal um industrial so all these are several streams of mechanical engineering which you will get specialized once you are into a post graduate level so undergraduate you will be having um, all the subjects right so how to know in which area of specialization you are interested in so by refreshing the course syllabus it is not just by looking back into the marks what you have obtained sometimes that will not be a fair means to evaluate yourself to know into which area of specialization you are fit rather you might have developed some curiosity or interest towards a special subjects might be because of the teacher who have taught that subject or might be because of you came in touch with the actual practical situation with that subject in real life situations so so many reasons that you have to update based on the thought process it's a very good brain work also then once you have completed the three steps now you know the the broad area of specialization in which you are interested in now you can start utilizing the online resources start googling in that area get some papers journal papers or authentic websites rather than this wikipedia or some encyclopedia kind of things or free uh, papers genuine authentic and good websites and journal papers you refer that's what i meant by utilizing the online resources for a better purpose you are not going to copy paste from the resource for taking a seminar that is not a fair mean then the other purpose another purpose of presenting a seminar is making presentations using our point or similar aids making you know everyone will be having different presentation skills right somebody will be very good at facing the audience and presenting on a new topic right somebody will be uh, pretty good in english and they'll be very confident enough to talk for continuously for hours but in order to improve whatever skills you have in facing the audience and making a presentation in which 
you are confident in you are an expert by researching on a particular topic for days or weeks or months you have become an expert that is the very one you are going to present in front of the audience so obviously you are the master there when you are presenting you are the master you know very well on that subject if you are prepared well than the audience even more than your teachers that's why i used to tell my students every time take a unique topic take a unique topic and present it so in a seminar the most important skill evaluated is your presentation and the uh, preparation of presentation not the topic topic is important it should be relevant to the subject matter but still the presentation skill and the preparation of presentation would be evaluated at the primary level then second last purpose of the seminar is overcoming the stage fear facing the audience many of you will be having fear on facing the audience right when you look at the audience of 20 or 40 or 60 um you may say of your words you may not be able to uh present what you have prepared right so that anxiety that should overcome by such small seminars so some teachers used to give seminar on every subject some students used to come voluntarily for presenting seminar so all these will be towards your well being in your career for presentation skill that will help you obviously in your future career in your life not only in your career in your life also then obviously last but not the least important thing is improving the vocabulary in the language mostly you used to present the seminar in english language right so you will have a chance to improve your vocabulary rather than speaking english only for the necessary things and proficiency of talking english and listening to the questions and answering the questions in the same manner in the same same language so all these things could be developed by preparing and presenting a good seminar underline a good seminar not just for the purpose of presenting a seminar but by understanding the intention behind presenting a seminar if you understood the intentions or purposes of presenting a seminar it will be a good seminar obviously you will develop or you will fulfill all these purposes i am sure so let us go to the second step what to start with so once you understood the first step that who oh, have to fulfill all these intentions all these purposes i should present a good seminar but still most of you will be having the doubt what to select a topic from where if you simply google it so much of information you are going to get isn't it the first step to start with is start with the syllabus of your respective course of study that is the first purpose of presenting a seminar is it you have to start from the very step just look at the syllabus fine after looking at the syllabus you have to finalize the stream of interest for you have a thought process for a day or two or even for a week 
as I mentioned in the intention step. So once you are decided on the broad area, I am not telling the topic, selecting the topic, but the broad area. For example, if you want to present a seminar in mechanical engineering, you have broad areas like thermal engineering, which subjects will come under thermal engineering, thermodynamics, hydrants, fluid mechanics, energy. Then another area is design, engineering mechanics, design of machine elements, kinematics of machinery, dynamics of machinery, then manufacturing, different manufacturing processes, production, production planning, then industrial engineering, maintenance, this control, then instrumentation, mechatronics. There are different streams under an engineering specialization. So you have to decide on which broad area you fit into perfectly based on your interests which you have developed over the past 2-3 years. Based on that, searching, start searching for the resources online and offline as well. You can use your own thought process for that also. So that is the second step, the starting point. Third step, Or the third confused, most confused step is how to choose from. It is really a tedious job, isn't it? Many of you lost yourselves at this point. But it is quite easy. If you have done systematically and properly the previous steps. If you understood the purpose of seminar as well as you have started with the syllabus and reached at the broad area specialization in which you are interested in. This step is quite easy, I would say. But never ever do this. What is that? Simply go to www.google.co.in and search for seminar topics for mechanical engineering. Never do that. That is not the right way to choose from. For example, I have shown a window here. So you can see n number of items are shown as the first result, aerodynamics, air power, etc. 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 How will you choose? It is difficult. It is very difficult. And you can't rely on the resources or the information what you have obtained by checking like this. If, if you have to get, if you would like to get authentic information on a particular area or topic or a subject matter, you have to look for the authentic resources. How to find the authentic resources? Search in reputed journals. Search in reputed journals. Now you may ask, which are the reputed journals? There are lot of online free journals are available, open source journals are available as of now. So which journals you have to search for? That we will see in detail in another session. Now, today's session, I would like to uh, share you the different steps to choose. So, once you have the reputed journals search for both latest as well as oldest papers. Why? Why do you need oldest papers? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is required. Oldest papers in the sense some review papers, that is also fine. Review papers, most of the review papers will be having 50 or 100, even 200 references starting from the fundamentals. So to get advances in technology, you need the latest paper and to know the fundamentals or basics of that particular area or topic, you need the oldest paper. That's why I told the latest as well as oldest papers. Then what is the next step? Go through the contents. 
from the very abstract. At least you read the abstract of each and every paper you have collected. And note down the important points or underline if you are able to take the printouts or in the PDF. Out of PDF, you can highlight the important points. Do it right away. If you find enough room for expanding the work from your understanding level and capabilities from the information obtained from the journal paper, proceed. If you find it, that paper contains the area mentioned in the paper contains enough information or there is enough room for expanding the work what you are presented by the others for your understanding and capability that is very important for your understanding and capabilities and the um, resources available with you proceed else again start from the first step do this until you are confident enough to proceed further so many papers you may have to read through sometimes you'll be very lucky to get a pretty good paper in the first search itself sometimes it may not be the case you may have to search for days and weeks you will get at a saturated level that get frustrated and uh, I don't want to uh, look into this anymore. I will simply present something and escape out. That should not be the case. You should patiently sit for a few hours a day and the next day. Don't think that you will get the seminar topic in a day. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will happen for no one. You have to sit for at least a week or two minimum to finalize the topic. <laughs> now the fourth step, finalizing the topic with confidence. So once you have all these things, papers, you have the broad area, then you started searching the authentic journal papers. You have the oldest and the latest papers. Now you have to finalize your topic. So, first step is already over in the previous one. Papers you have searched for. Now you have to organize those papers. You create different folders in your computer. Okay, name the papers with the title and put in separate folders, different. Um, method of the same work same work might have done in different methods by different authors in different years in different era right so arrange those papers organize those papers in proper way it will be quite useful why i'm saying is sometimes you will get a better opportunity to continue your seminar topic to your main project in the final year that is also possible. So keep that also in mind when you are searching for this another topic. Whether I will be in a position to continue this work as a project, as a main project in your final year. Now the second step before finalizing the topic, read thoroughly each and every paper for, for clarity as well as understanding. Each and every paper. Read it, highlight it, either print out or PDF. Then make notes. Rather than simply highlighting, make notes wherever necessary. We keep a note for that, a seminar. Why not? If you are serious enough. I should say you should be serious. Each one of you should be serious about say, taking a seminar. Then understand the fundamentals related to the contents and the topics. In addition to read each and every paper, you have to look for the fundamentals related to the contents and the topic of that paper. That again will take you back to the syllabus. In the second step itself, 
there is refreshing the syllabus you know which are all the subjects you have studied in each semester now that you have identified your broad area and you are moving towards finalizing your topic so before that again you may have to refresh your syllabus for strengthening your fundamentals related to the contents and topic of the selected paper and topic once you are done we can say confidently that you are ready to make or prepare the presentation if you follow these steps you can easily say confidently you can keep in your mind that now i am ready for the presentation please leave your comments in the chat section below for your feedback now in the upcoming session we will see how to prepare a good presentation and if you have something else in your mind or doubts or if you would like to have any other area in the selection process of webinar topic please leave your feedback in the comment section we will discuss that if possible so thank you for watching if you are not